I'm now going to demonstrate the neomobilizer. How to determine your width. I find if you take a 4 inch elastic bandage and just come on the side here and imagine another one on this side, as long as it doesn't overlap, that will be fine. So I think 4 would be fitting uh, this leg just, just great. Your length would be 8 inches above and below the patella. That's all you need to immobilize the knee. You don't have to come all the way down here and way up here. So we're going to go 8 inches above and below the patella. I'm going to double this measurement now. Take this, using 4 inch, pull it out, get that one sided measurement, and double it. This is going to be medium laterally on the patient. Push it back in, bring the door down, make sure the red line is gone, nicely sealed. Okay, now remembering on the edges, make sure you protect the patient from that fiberglass, just grab both ends at the same time, stretch, and stretch. Fold your split in half in the middle. Okay, now Cutting from closed to open, remember this is the open side, the double phase tape. You see where the fiberglass ends right there? Okay, you want to cut all the way through this fiberglass. So cutting from the closed to open, find the middle. All the way through. Now use the whole scissor, and then you get to this point here, maybe a half an inch away. Just take the, sips, the tips back, and you feel where the fiberglass is right there. Just take the tips and right, put it right where the fiberglass ends and snip. Otherwise, you may go all the way through. So just use the tips. And then because I created fiberglass edges here, stretch the padding. Stretch, turn, stretch. And again, stretch on this side, turn, and stretch. And because it is 4 inch, I tend to zigzag at the width of the splint. It just covers more of the splint. One side. The other side. Sandwich this. And then just fold, fold. Lean on it to push that water through. Open it back up, single layer. Roll it down your towel. Squeeze. Now the dry side of the towel, and do that a second time. If you have any abrasions, okay, you can always pad the knee, okay, put your dressing on if you need, and just lock it in with some dressing of some sort. Just adds a little more comfort to the patient. And then this tab that you just created there, just place that on top of the patient's leg anteriorly and come up medial laterally. And just wrapping this to the proximal. Coming up medial laterally. As you notice, there's no pressure on the patella, no pressure behind the popliteal area. You have nice even compression with the bandage wrap as opposed to having straps. Sometimes you have a strap here, strap here, balloons out here. Strap, strap, balloons out here. This you have even compression going up the leg. You have a much lower profile. And normally I find a lot of folks put knee mobilizers on over the patient's pants, okay? Because they can't get the pants over that bulky new mobilizer. This being so low profile, it goes on the patient's bare leg, and the, and the pants go back over this. So they don't have to take it off when they go home. So that's a nice, nice feature to this technique. You can mold pocket splint. You can't mold foam, so you have a really nice fit to the patient.
And you also like to put them into about 10 to 15 degrees of flexion. So now when they walk out, they're going to have proper gait as opposed to a straight leg where they tend to hit the floor. It's a little bit safer for the patient and a lot more comfortable. And that's our new mobilizer.